Hello everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to use the Mavic Mini. First you want to turn on the drone. To turn on the drone you need a battery. Once the battery is in, you want to flip it to the other side. You tap once and hold. That turns on the battery. To turn on the controller, you need to do the same thing. Now here, you can fly the drone, but it's not really recommended. If you fly the drone without the camera, then it would be kind of hard to direct yourself, but... You know how you start here, you can hold it. So to turn it on without the app, you push the sticks outwards and then down. Right. Is it connected? Mm -hmm. No, it's not connected. It isn't? All right. So if you want to fly without the camera, you push the sticks outwards and then you push them down. Now that gets the motors going. And after that, you just go upwards. Okay, so to connect, there's one side that plugs into the drone, one side that plugs into your phone, and they have one for each type of phone, iPhone, Samsung, or like any other phone. So, right now we have an iPhone, so we want to get this one. And then first you want to plug it into your... And then with the DJI Fly app, find the app you could just scan here with your camera, and then it'll take you to download it. Don't really, I wouldn't really try to download it from your app store because you might get the wrong one. So just scan that paper. All right. Now with this app, there's lots of other modes. You can like modify the drone and everything. Now you can really see where you're going. So it's way better to fly like this. Uh. Okay, I'm showing you the minimum takeoff, which is out and then down. But there's also a when you load into the app there's a button that allows you to take off it automatically takes off now with that same button you can land okay this is how to replace fins for the Mavic Mini First you take off the guard. Okay, once the guard is removed, you can see on the fins, right here, they have a mark. Right there, the little curve. And so does this little fit, this arm. So that means you have to match them up. This one does not have that mark, and the, and the arm does not have that mark either. So you have to match that up. That's basically how you replace the fins. Make sure the screws are tight, not too tight. If you're feeling resistance, you're probably, you're probably putting the screws in wrong. And yeah, if you break a fin, you want to replace the fins and the screws, and you might want to just throw um, the fins and the screws that you used previously. You might just want to throw them away. Yeah, yeah.